This has taken a lot of time to set up. Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Prime, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video, which is going to be a little bit of a special because I'm going to teach you all about these circuits. Yes, I took the time to go and grab a bunch of circuits and coolness, and oh, I forgot to set up that. Okay, I'll, I'll just pause it whenever I get over to that one. Anyhow, before we do anything, be sure to do this thing here. Oh, like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things, ring the bell, as always. Love you guys. All right, so um, when when whenever the circuits first came out, it was right after the chop saw. Um, so we we got wires. It, it was it was the the big chop saw, the the big zzz, that right. We needed a way to sustain it and wires and anyhow. This is all the circuits and stuff that, that he came up with. And these are actual circuits uh, in reference to electronics and, and programming and everything else. So if you don't know what a switch is, is this a switch or a lever? Ah, oh, it's a lever. Okay. So there's a switch which has a button on it. I don't think I've got one here. It looks kind of like that button there, but it's on the same like little device like this. And when, what happens when you throw these? It turns on a signal. It gives you a blue. All right, that blue means on. All right, black means off or a zero. Blue, blue, blue. What in the world? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, your internet connection, what? Pausing. Man, I tell you what, if it's not one thing, it's the next. I, uh, Disconnect, like I got disconnected from the internet service. Like, that's that's bad. It wasn't wasn't anything inside my house. It was literally the line coming into the house. So there's something going on. Oh, I mean with the the internet service provider, not with like anything else. It's it's them, not us. <clears throat> well, at least it feels faster now. I mean that's that's a good thing, right? Oh, there we go. Okay, so we are back. What was I last explaining? Uh, oh, I ran over to Link's Logic and I grabbed a bunch of um, chips and circuits and stuff. Chips, um, yeah, circuits. So where were they? Last time, um, <clears throat> yes, here we go. On, off, ones and zeros. So you can use these along with uh, wires to move that signal along to wherever you need it to go. <coughs> Make a wish and it will travel along that wire so you can hook up more circuits to the end. So um, all the circuits that you're gonna be seeing, the input is on the back side right here and the output is on the front side here. So just follow the little arrows and that's the direction that it goes. Oh, I might sneeze again. Oh, oh, no, I'm good. Okay, so this right here is what's called a knot or an inverter switch. So um, the input that's going into the back is a zero. So what comes out is the opposite of whatever that is. So it's a one or on. So this is off, this is on. So if I turn this on, boop, it switches to an off. Now we're gonna do something really annoying here at the end. And I will show you how to set up like an alarm system kind of thingy, kind of. It, it'll be the alarm sound. Anyhow, right here, uh, this is an and switch. So that means the uh, first and the second have to be on. So this one has to be a one and this one has to be a one. So if I just throw one of these, the output is still a zero, it's false. It's like, no, it's not, that's not what that does. So if I try just the other one, look at that, see, nope, still off. But if I throw both on at one time, boop, we get an on, see? So one and two have to be on for the output to be on. All right, this is called an OR switch. That means the left one or the right one can be on, all right? So if we just have one signal, boop, it's on. If we have two signals, it's still on. But if we have the opposite signal, it's still on. So only if one of those is on, the OR switch will output, no. If one or more are on, it will turn the output on. So 
Um, the last is the XOR switch. So, um, the left or the right has to be on, but not both. So if you throw this one on, output is one. If you throw this one on, output is one. But if you throw both on at one time, nope, sorry, you, only one of you can pass. Only one shall pass. That's how the X or switch works. Uh, next we have the, is that the sustain? I think that's, yeah, that's the sustain. And the way you can tell the difference in between a sustain and a delay is the delay has gaps in between its markers and the sustain does not. So what a sustain does is the moment this gets turned on, there's a delay switch, like a, a timer, for how long you wanna keep it on after the signal gets cut. So I'm just gonna throw this all the way up and I think it's like 15 seconds or something like that. And then we're gonna turn this on and watch, it will instantly turn on on the opposite side. Boop just like that the blue bar will fill up showing hey that is that is connected but then when this turns off one two three four five six seven nine two okay that's that's a lot faster than i thought see how it drained out so it's kind of like a capacitor where you charge it and then it slowly releases the the charge so think of the sustain as a um as a capacitor in circuits okay now i turn it off, but look, that output's still a one, still a one, still a one, and gone. So that's how that's how the sustain works. And you can turn that down or up. Uh, the delay, oops, 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 oops. The delay is how long it's going to stay on um, once, or wait, it's, it's going to like, you get a signal, how long do I wait until I let go of that signal? How long until it, it goes on? So. Think of this as a slow charging, slow releasing uh, capacitor. So we turn it on, it's charging, 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 and boom, there's the output. Now here's the difference. If we turn this off, you'll also see that go down, 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 and then off. So the delay is the signal coming in, it has a short delay before it goes out, and when it comes off, it has a short delay before it turns off. So it's like a, it's like putting a really long coil of wire and that, that electricity has to get all the way through the wire before it gets out to the end. Uh, think of this more like a like a garden hose, right? Your garden hose is like, it's, it's really long, but you have it all coiled up in like one little spot. You turn the water on and that water starts flowing, 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 and then finally it goes out the, the, the hose, the spout, right? That's kind of how this works. Now the only difference is if you turn the water off, the spout instantly like stops. But you can imagine that as like having a garden hose uh, adapter, right? And you're spraying and you turn it off and it'll keep spraying because that pressure is built up in there and spray, 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 and then it's just... But with this, it's just like instantly off. So that's a, that's a good analogy for the delay system. So uh, yeah, you got your switches, you got your inverters, all that good stuff. Now this is also over in Link's Logic, and this is a, basically it's like a sun uh, solar panel kind of thingy. Um, or no, it's more like a, like a timer. Yes, like Christmas lights. So um, the light blue side is daytime, the dark blue side is nighttime, and this little black bar that's going around in circles, that is the time of day. So right now, this is only set up to be uh, on during the daytime, right? So you can see the output is on. If I take this and move it all the way around, and it's off. So in a couple of seconds, that should switch back on. There you go. So what you could do is you could make this into like uh, a Christmas light, only turn on the Christmas lights at nighttime, or you could have it only turn on um, the, the lights at night, right? That way when you're away from the house, security system comes on, turns it on and all that good stuff. So that's that's the uh, the gist of that. Now, what's really cool about the all these signals is if you want to hook up uh, any of the yellow stuff, right? So check this out. Move. If you click on any of the yellow. Oh, okay, nil. 
if you click on any of the yellow, if you send a signal to something yellow that you can press E on, it will turn on. Now that's, that's kind of annoying and it doesn't actually flip flop like that. The signal's pretty much constant. So you can't, you can't make any like cool little flip flops with that. Um, also notice like I'm placing the wire. The wire is still there to the server. So it's still getting the signal and stuff until I hit F and that's client side. Now it's actually moved. So um, let's see. This is the one that I didn't get set up. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get um, some oak. Okay, there we go. So uh, this right here, this is a, um, a wood detector, okay? It's got an output signal back here in the back. So what you can do is you can take a uh, sample of the wood that you want to detect. So right now I'm, I'm just using oak. You can drop that in there. This will turn on the detector. And then when a piece of that kind of wood moves into it, makes a little uh, checkout signal like at the grocery store and you get a, uh, a output of one. See, back here. Okay, hold on. Let me set that up. That's a uh, boop, just like that. There we go. So it's detecting the wood and we're getting an output of one. This is really good for sorting systems and gates and all kinds of good stuff. Um, and the last is the laser detector okay it has an output right here and it's controlled by a laser so a laser can be turned on and off with a signal right here so if you were to put a wire to connect it it would turn it on and off but you can see the output becomes a one so this is the uh the system that i was talking about this is the the annoying thing and i'm actually going to do that for you right now i was looking at the time i'm like oh my gosh I did not realize how late this video was going to be. So I'm going to put an inverter to the output. Okay, what that means is when the laser turns on and it gets a signal, it's gonna turn this on in the back, but it's going to turn this signal off. Okay, so in turn, oops, no, okay. In turn, if I hook this up, so the output is currently a one. It'll turn the laser on. This will detect it. This will turn on in between and make this turn off, which in turn will turn off the laser and make this awesome sound. Check it out. Y yes, yes. So let's go ahead and move this real quick. Get that to stop now I've got a bunch of these little laser beams over here oh dears let's just uh, stick these right up here shall we have some fun with them because it's the uh, the actual laser that makes the sound it's not the detector so here we go have fun uh, with this little trick if you want to troll your friends if you want to make an alarm system for your house or you know, if you just enjoy the sound of a laser going bee boo, bee boo, bee boo, whatever the case may be, you know, I'm not here to stop you. Uh, I am here to say be nice, be kind, rewind, all that good stuff. Blockbuster. Um, let's see. Rotate, rotate. Let's do, let's do this. Let's set them up in a cool little. Uh, oh, that's not going to work really, because it's going to get blocked by that detector, isn't it? Oh, it's turned around backwards anyway. All right. Rotate, rotate. There we go. And come on, come on. Move. Put that over there. Nice. And then move this one right over here. Rotate. Nice. Okay, so um, let's do this and hook this up like that. And then we'll come over here grab this one we're gonna hook this one up like this and then we're gonna hook this one up like this so we only need to like attach that one to the actual circuit uh oh do i have any more wires <gasps> do i use all my wires nope i got one more i knew i was saving that one for something so, 
Hold on to your horses. Come on, come on. Oh, I can't put it on what I'm standing on. And basically, you can you can attach these wires to like almost everything. Here we go. You know that's a that's a nice alarm saying, "Hey, hey, something's going on over here. Please, somebody got to stop this. Quick, there's a thief." You know, whatever the case may be. Now what you could do, this is just another idea, is we're going to turn that AND switch on. We're going to use that as part of our, our system here. Okay, so, come over here. We're going to grab the AND, okay? And we're going to rotate like this. Oops, not like that. Rotate. Hold on. Can I can I attach it directly? I don't know if the output's going to be strong enough to turn that one on. But we're going to take the output from here, which is inverted. Oh, come on, come on, you silly goose! And we're going to place it to one of the inputs of the AND switch. Just like that. And then we're going to use this extra switch that we had over here. Awesome. We're just going to attach it like that. Now it does give it a little bit of a delay, but alarm system is currently on. Turn off the alarm system. See? Because the inputs have to be one and one to get a one. And then that will actually turn on the laser, which completes the whole uh, system. And that little thing right there, that can be used in lots of different circuits. Now this uh, AND switch does give it a little bit of delay. So if you wanted a quick system, this probably isn't for you. But there you have it. Circuits and how to use them. Um, by the way, you can also use those on doors. All right. And you can use buttons for a short delay. Or you can use them to turn, turn, uh, turn doors on and off. Right, that's that's how I did the the circuits on the garage door. Boom. Uh, hold on, let me shut that, shut that, and then we need to move that one. Move B. So, actually, I think we need to move all these, don't we? Move B. Move B. Move B. Please note, I am using the glass doors because it looks cool. <laughs> So there's on, and notice how it only turned on the switches, the 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 um, burp, burp, burp. the wires only turned on for a second, so they could go down in concurrency, consecutive, concurrent. I don't know. Anyhow, the wire goes up, turns on, so all these backsides get clicked, and then hmm. Yes. Okay. So, quick note: see how the um, the wires are just on the left side of the door over here? That's because if you were to try and hook these up on the inside of the door over here, all of these doors would go this direction, like this way. Okay, and you don't want that. You want to like whatever side the source is on. The last thing to touch, the side that the source is on. That's the way that the door goes. And as an example of that, here, I'm standing on this side. I am the source. If I click this, no, no, crushy time. It's horrible. Help my face. Oh gosh, oh, I can't. I can't click it. I can't click it. No. Whew. That was a close one. But if I use a signal on the opposite side of the door, boop, there we go. Up, down. Nice. No, I don't want to do that. You could even set it up to be like a doorbell. If you had like a scoob head or something like that, you know. Somebody comes up, clicks the button, and goes scoob, you know. Just put a scoob inside the walls. My scoop head still here? He is. But, anyhow. 
I digress. That's it. That's all I got for the circuits today. I hope this has been a learning experience and that you've gotten a little bit of experience with the tutorials and all the other things. I do have a much bigger expanded versions that I made a long time ago. Just look up Code Primate Circuits, Lumber Tycoon 2, and you will find a, a slew of videos on how to create your own circuits, how to make, um, what is it, the LED readouts, like the one, two, three, four, five, six. I did those, and I also did the, the BCD, which is the binary conversion to decimal, or binary decimal conversion, BDC, something like that. I don't even remember what the circuit name is, it's been so long. But I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, just like this notification says to do. And we will talk to you next time. <sighs> Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.